Leicester Prison at Kickback 2 Custom Motorcycle Show. Most of the work is not me. Um, it's, it's a young lad that works for us. He's uh, Jordan. His name is. He's 24 years, years old. He's very, very gifted. Come here, you. We have another difference. You know. <laughs> yes. Blow your trumpet, all right? This is Jordan. This is Jordan. He's a very clever person. <laughs> Can you take us through that build? Because this is incredible. Nothing like anyone seen before. And I heard that every single part on this bike you make. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, so we use a software called SolidWorks. So it's all sort of drawn up on SolidWorks, then we get to a CNC machine. So every piece of the CNC machine. We wanted to, um, you know, we've built bikes in the past and cars, uh, but it is just a hobby. Um, but what we wanted to do on, on this bike, especially, was, was to use Jordan's skills with SolidWorks. Um, and also because we, we bought some new um, machining packages and like software packages, and we want to we want to like 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 learn by building the bike really, um, and we and we're a machine shop, so we machine the bike.
still a grass track bike. It's not. People think it's speedway, which it is to a certain extent. But um, grass track is a. Is a um, I think it's probably more of a British thing actually. But you you tend to go around the field. It, it, it's probably a cheap man speedway to be honest. So you have two speed, you have two gears. So, so what you do, you put it in first, hit the first corner, smack it in the second, and then you're up and running. You know. And that's and that's grass track. Of the engine? Um, so the internal, so the crank and cams are from a uh, Royal Enfield, uh, and then we basically made the casing around that. The barrel is uh, from Jap engines that now engines uh, in the uh, The cylinder head is machine solid, uh, so that's all been redesigned. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's a mix of magic. So. Really, but we, we basically we've made them all the casings, um, the cylinder heads. We've got a guy called uh, from Manaflow to make the exhaust. So yeah, this sort of we've tried to use like, like the exhaust fixes, like probably most people would um, weld the exhaust with bends, but this was, um, <laughs> was old school. I mean, Dave, the guy that did the exhaust, he, um, he used to make Formula One exhausts, and, and you, you would have filled the tube with sand, um, blocked the ends up, and then heated the, heated the, the tube, and then you would bend it um, without any welding. So that was all hand bent. Then when I fitted the exhaust, I gave him a piece of wire. Um, it was within a millimetre, honestly, it was within a millimetre. So, old school and new school, really. He's old, he's old school and new school. <laughs>
Yeah, my name's uh, Tully Jampus. I'm uh, local, uh, living in Boston. Not in this place, not, uh, not local, like in the next cell. No, I've never been a guest here. This uh, bike originally came over from America. It was uh, custom built. The guy who brought it over uh, didn't look after it very well, so I bought it, covered in scratches, rust. It needed a complete restoration, uh, bare frame. Um, so that's where I went. And um, the main changes I've done is, is in restoring it, I also wanted to make some improvements to it. You know, a nicer seat, nicer side panels, change the position of the tank, re-chrome everything, re-powder coat everything, repaint everything, just everything, right down, every nut and bolt, um, stainless steel, bolts, all polished. Um, yeah, uh, there's no there's no part of the bike that hasn't been uh, touched, restored. Does it work? Because it looks like brand new. Oh yes, yeah, it's very loud, so uh, I think I get into trouble if I if I was to start it up in here.
Dan. Oh, well done. How are you doing? <laughs> Can you introduce yourself, please? Yes, I'm Graham and I'm from Aberystwyth on the west coast of Wales. This is my You mentioned something unusual that you use what other builders normally don't use. Yeah, if you go through this now, for instance, if you look at the hands of us, during lockdown, the handlebars are made up of the old papers, okay? It's got a nice radius. Yeah, scaffolding to to make the backbone, bits of swings or any bit of metal I can find. Have a look around, you'll see such things. Whatever you can find, turn it on the garage. Yeah, so it's made everything up there. And is it fully functional? Yeah, yeah. I heard that you ride it. MOT. You did MOT with it? It's got MOT. So it's when, it, when it is on papers? It's a Buell 1200 M2 Cyclone. Okay. Black. Black. Yeah. And you ride it? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, perfect. Do you ride it a lot? Like how many yeah. miles roughly you did? Oh, at the moment it's on a bit of a shake down. So it's just doing small 20 miles, see how many things fall off, and then go from there. Gloucester Prison was opened in 1791 on a Gloucester Castle site. In 1820s the prison was extended and a new gatehouse being built in the northeast wall. On the roof of it, in 1826 till 1868 executions took place. Total 123 people were executed. The prison was closed in 2013 due to overcrowding, its old design and expensive upkeep. People say it's haunted.
This is the last custom show of a year in UK. It took me three hours to get to Gloucester this morning, but as soon as I stepped into the prison, I was so glad I made it. Probably my favorite venue this year.
Simon. Um, I've got a little motorcycle workshop in Wedge Street called Speed Customer. This is your build, I presume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I bought it back in 2019. It's a basket case. It cost me £1,800. Um, Do we build or buy? No, we buy. And most of it was on the floor and a lot of went to missing, so yeah. And, uh, uh, I kind of used uh, COVID to, to build it over that period. What a show, guys. It was amazing. What a venue. Thanks to Night Watches for sponsoring Kickback this year and they collaborating with Kickback for a next year's show, which will be even bigger, even better. Big ambition to make it the best custom show of the year. To find out more about the next year's show, you'll find the link in the description and the best comment. I'll see you there next year.